Welcome to the Strenuous Life Radio, the podcast where entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, men and women have learned the essentials and soft skills of the strenuous life. And now, here are your hosts, J.R. and Jimmy Hendricks. Before I put J.R. on for a while, I want to read a quote from Ronald Reagan. He says, we have been given the precious gift of life, not just in our births, but also in our pilgrimages to a land of freedom. J.R., that's right, we are... (laughs) Camping out a little bit on the Sixth Commandment. We're talking about Thou shalt not kill. The sanctity of life. Now I know in some areas of Christianity this could be kind of a murky area. I remember the summer of 2000 and my, I had a cousin that decided to come room with me and my best friend and I was well I had just come back I just moved back to Uh, in the Odessa not too long before. I was put up, you know, in one of the family residences. Cousin come to stay with me, and, you know, uh, I believe it was the execution of John Albert Burks. We'd seen some parts of the news, and we were going to watch the execution, you know, watch, you know, the, uh, the appeals and all that stuff. I had a relative with me, and he asked, well, Junior, what would Jesus do? Execution, you know. He might be opposed to it. But that's not what I read from the New Testament. There are some penalties that require the death penalty. And so Jesus spoke of that. I tend to stick with something that's a little bit more closer to home. And I know that's not something y'all want to hear. It's a subject of abortion. And physician-assisted suicide and the like. In those instances, it's non-negotiable. That's a life, and that's a taking of a life. Okay, abortion. Sooner or later, people, I'm hoping that people in this country wake up to the sciences. When you perform an abortion, you're killing the baby, not just a clump of tissue. All right? Say you're some hot shot lawyer. And an uh, an advocate with an axe to grind. And maybe you get somebody, I don't know. Gives you the idea, you know, some cleric or something. That the Bible says nothing. Absolutely nothing about about abortion, condemning it. Well, that's what I'm here for. That's what Jimmy's here for. Well, in Proverbs chapter 6, verse 17, it says, Hands that shed innocent blood. Are an abomination 
and to the Lord. Let me tell you something. You're performing an abortion, you're shedding innocent blood. Because that baby didn't do nothing to deserve being killed. And I don't know, some some idiots feel that they could go around and change the law. Jay, are your thoughts about this uh, subject of, of abortion? You know, some of us in Generation X, such as not you and myself, we we were at one time pro-abortion. Because we didn't see anything wrong with it. And then thank goodness our friends and our family opened our eyes. And helped us understand what it really is. That it's the merciless killing of, of a baby. J.R. and I are, are passionate about the, the, the sanctity of life. But now, we're not going to talk about what's going on currently on the news. JR knows I'm taking a break from all that. No, we're talking about what's right and what's wrong. Now, the death penalty. We believe that the Bible allows, in some cases, for uh, capital punishment. But I think it's best for the show that we stay away from that. And, you know, several episodes back we talked about social responsibility. How about social responsible entrepreneurs do what they can to fight for the sanctity of life? Because one thing Jamie says on the show is, you know, hey, if this don't stop, what's going to happen next? They don't want to take out people with disabilities. We gotta be, we gotta be guarded. We gotta be watchful. Killing of any kind is a serious sin. Now, capital punishment has its own ramifications as, as it is. You know, physician assisted suicide. You know, it says clear in Exodus 20, thou shalt not kill. We should take thou shalt not kill very seriously. Very seriously. Now, in the next episode, we're going to be talking about, you know, I don't know, i I'm, I got to discuss things with Jimmy. To make an executive decision what it's going to be about. So. But we're talking about the sanctity of life. And how important that is. We're the people that should think twice about the moral and ethical situation and in, in what, in what it means in, in life, okay? Some people may support physician-assisted suicide. Jeff, you know, man, I like to say a few things about this. I think one thing that, that uh, J.R. and I kind of talk about quite a bit is uh, death with dignity. It, it allows the person to, you know, know that if they're dying of something like cancer or something, they can go pain-free but they're not exactly having their life taken away. They can go away naturally and in peace. 
you know, trying to make it to where they're they're, they're pain free, they're comfortable. You know, it's, it's like when I was in the nurse and I was broken a leg, I remember uh, there was a staff member that said, you know, in the, in the hospice, uh, sometimes they put you to sleep so that you're not, you know, so you don't feel the pain and everything's okay. But now, I'm not going to get too much of the end of life issues. The fact of the matter is, killing is killing. You know, matter I'll take over from here, Jimmy. The sanctity of life is something near and dear to me. Alright? Some people in this country want to use the culture of death. Tear apart the fabric of our country. Well, let me tell you something. OJ ain't going to stand for that. So I want you to know and maybe some times in the future when Gerald decides to take over and the uh, the show because he knows how I'm out uh, politics and the like. Well, anyway, I hope y'all enjoy listening to this Strenuous Life Radio. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of the Strenuous Life family. Don't just sit there and take it. Build your dreams so you can take it. Do what others don't so you can be what others want. And do what others don't so you can have others can't. My daddy says think strong, live strong, live the strenuous life. God bless you. Y'all take care now, you hear?